Okay, let's talk about figure legends. This is pretty easy part of the whole writing the manuscript process. It's easy also to mess up a little bit, so we need to be careful. In this video, we'll cover like the different sections, starting with the title of the figure legend, and then we will move to the description of each and every single panel. Here it's easy to make mistakes. We typically put things that shouldn't be there, but if we are conscious, maybe we can write better figure legends. And then we will talk a little bit very briefly about the last section, just that we are starting to use more as a summary of the statistics with the requirements and the need to understand, okay, how the data has been processed. So if that sounds interesting, let's jump directly into the video. So the first thing that we need to do is to give the title of the figure legend. And this will be, of course, the summary of the whole collection of panels, but it needs to be a conclusion that is absolutely based on the results and we need to make sure that we leave aside any speculation because we do want to summarize in a informative way what's going on, but we don't want to taint the interpretation of the results. So what the authors did here was to mutate this protein and they checked then the interaction and they found essentially that for all of these interaction partners, you have the interaction with the proteins except for this maybe with TDRK and they did it. This is uh, an IP technique and the same that they observe with IP, they observe with IF where they see the colocalization here and they don't see it when you have MIWI RK, the colocalization you can see here with the yellow and, and the red. But beyond that, what the data supports is that this MIWI and terminal argument selectively interacts with TDRK. That's basically this panel C and it's supported for TDRK interaction also with this other technique. So that's a pretty solid title. It's good to have like an active verb linking two things. It's like this does so and so like, and, and that's exactly what we have. So I think this is a very strong title and, and clearly illustrates what the figure is showing and, and it's a good conclusion. So that, that's, that's a perfect one. Right now, the second thing that we need to do is to describe each of the panels. And to that, we start with like referring to the panel, in this case, A. And what I like to do is just to start by describing what the image is about. So this is what the authors do here. They say a schematic illustration of the domain architecture of MIUI, of mouse MIUI. And that's exactly what it is. It's a, a schematic illustrator. Um, so I think that's, that's all good. Probably they cut it a little bit too short. I would have added here that the different domains of the proteins are shown on top here, like the pass, mid and peewee domain, and the, this end terminal RG motifs are enlarged and the sequence, sequence is given. So you can probably add that, but otherwise that's fine. Uh, for the panel B, I think they do also quite a good job. They say protein sequence of the end terminal RG motif, RG motif one in A, and its RK mutation are shown. So here actually, that's what we see. This is the protein sequences of the end terminal RG motif and the RK mutation. Um, and here you see the changes. Again, I think it's fine. Maybe you can say like mutated residues or yeah, are indicated in red, but not more than that. So then they, we can move to panel C. Here things get a little bit more interesting. So the authors write the RK mutation, RK, MIWI, and terminal RG motifs selectively diminishes the interaction of MIWI with TRK. HEC 293 T cells were transfected with indicated plasmids. Immunoprecipitation was performed using anti flag resin. However, the way I would have preferred to write this, like, I mean, this is completely fine, but something that I like to start, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to describe this experiment. So what, what is this experiment? This is an IP and immunoprecipitation. So I would prefer to start saying immunoprecipitation of MIWI, uh, wild type or RK with different known interaction uh, partners. And that's the first sentence. And then I'd like to describe more the panel than the methods itself. So 
instead of saying the IP flag was the immune precipitation was performed using this anti flag resin, but you can say the upper panel show the western blood from immune precipitations using the the flag tag. So it's essentially the same concept, but I like to describe more the panel than the method. So, but that's that's my preference, and I, I think it is good for the people to focus more more on the panel than thinking about okay what what has been done. That is important, but I think it, it makes more sense to put it in the materials and methods. And then okay, so they move to panel D. This one here, they say the TDRK re recruits MIWI to mitochondria, and then Hila said we are transfected with GFP tag MIWI alone or together with RFP tag TRDK plasmid. So I think this is fine again, but they start with probably the conclusion of the figure. Um, and I, I something that I try to avoid in general because you don't want to explain the explanation. So for me, the, the panel should speak for itself. In addition, there is no allusion to the mitochondria in the panel itself. And so we know that these proteins localize to the mitochondria, but that's something that either you know from law in the literature or is something that you gather from the text. But try to keep the figure and figure legends as self-contained as possible. So that's why I would avoid this sentence altogether. And then here they, they move to the materials and methods. And I think probably I would have started with just saying like, immunofluorescence of HeLa cells transfected with GFP maybe alone or GFP tag or, or with RFP tag TRDK plasmid. So again, I think that I would explicitly say, okay, this is an IF micrograph and generated in so and so way rather than directly describing the materials and methods. So overall, I think it's, it's a very clear figure legend has all the elements. Um, but my preference is to write it a little bit, some things a little bit more different, like be more explicit about what is in the image first, then describe the panel rather than how the panel was made, and that there is a fine distinction there. Um, then try to avoid elements, to mention elements in the figure legend that are not in the figure, such as the mitochondria here. And other than the title that try to summarize the whole figure, I would avoid making conclusion specifically of each single panel. So that's it mostly for the second part. The final part is these final lines at the end where you tend to summarize uh, concepts that are valid for more than one panel. So here the right results shown in C and E are representative of three biological replicates. And usually this is related to the statistics. So you can say all the panels where the statistical methods use were so and so, and, and this is the significant, the, the number of stars that you put for, for each plot. Here they say these are representative biological replicates. And, and also you would like to give a little bit more of information of central values and dispersion and individual dots in plots that require. So, so that's the last part of the figure legends here is very succinct because there's not much statistics in this figure but that's the third and, and last element of your figure legend i hope you enjoy that video if you are interested in writing the whole manuscript i bet you are you can check the list that is now on screen where i cover the different sections of the manuscript from abstract to discussion so that you can go through them i give you also some tips and tricks over there. So I see you then.